So you need to stock up on these two things right now, guys, all right? It's about to get bad, and this is connected to the Florida situation, all right? Florida has been devastated, sadly, all right? It looks like hundreds of people have lost their lives, and this is also going to affect the supply chain as well because Florida is a massive producer of these two things, all right? So let's pray for Florida. Seriously, I have family there. Thank God. My family was not affected seriously from this situation, but I they all live an hour away from Fort Myers, an hour or two from Fort Myers, okay? And I used to live not even an hour, probably an hour max from Fort Myers as well, okay? So this is huge. People's lives have been destroyed, and this is also going to destroy our economy, all right, and our supply chain. So... If you haven't heard, this hurricane, it hit Fort Myers and it went inland and it went to a place that produces over half of the nation's fertilizer, all right? And Fox News has confirmed that Mosaic Fertilizer has experienced damages from the hurricane and they have shut down fertilizer production and they produce over half the fertilizer for North America, right? And I have driven by Mosaic a hundred times. It's a massive place. It stinks to drive by if you've ever driven by any kind of um, fertilizer plant or phosphate mining or anything like that. It smells terrible. It's a very dry, powdery, chemical smell. It does not smell good at all. And they have shut down, all right? Supplies over half the fertilizer to North America. I didn't even realize that either because I lived in this area. I lived in the Lake Wales area for years and I drove by it and I never realized that they were that big of a a fertilizer producer, all right? So this is insane. They have sustained damages according to Fox News and they are shut down right now for an indefinite amount of time. So look for food prices to go up even higher, all right? Because we've already we've already sanctioned away all of our fertilizer overseas and now our domestic fertilizer production has been hit, all right? Has taken a direct hit. And this is not only going to just affect fertilizer, what else is in this area right where Mosaic is in Polk County and Lake Wales, this area is orange groves, all right? And the orange grove orange grove harvest is right about to hit it literally starts in October, all right? It starts in just a couple weeks and probably it's, it's probably starting very soon, like almost right now, all right? It's the end of September right now. It starts in October because Florida, they're, it's so hot and nasty and wet in Florida in the summer that they harvest season is normally in winter, like tomatoes and oranges, all the fruiting crops, pretty much everything you grow in in the winter season in Florida because there's almost no frost danger at that level, all right? There's even a town right near Lake Wales called Frost Proof, all right? And so this is peak orange harvest season. The The trees are loaded up and then they just got smacked by an almost category five hurricane. This probably destroyed the orange harvest. And this area, Florida accounts for, it's, I think it's like, 90% of the orange juice in the United States, 90%. And I think it's like 70% of the total citrus volume comes from Florida as well, right? But 90% of the orange juice comes from Florida, right? Because California grows citrus as well, but Florida's citrus is better for orange juice and California's citrus is more for like frozen stuff and additives and flavors and stuff like that okay but the florida ones are the best ones for juicing orange juice and 90 percent of them right could potentially be wiped out 90 percent of the orange juice could potentially be wiped out and this this is real guys think of all these farmers they've already been devastated they've already been struggling to stay alive when i lived in lake wales they already they are already suffering from a greening disease, okay? So there's a citrus greening disease. And it's it's like this boring parasite that bores into the plant. 
and you just have to literally rip the tree out and burn it all right there's massive uh fields all over lake wells florida of a uh, trees ripped out and sitting in piles that are just burned okay because they need to rip them all out and let the soil sit for a couple years to get rid of the greening disease in that soil right so it's a parasite that doesn't allow the oranges to fully ripen they stay green they don't turn orange or they slightly they turn orange a little bit on the outside and then on the inside they aren't ripe at all it just ruins the crop right it makes the crop a total loss a total waste you could maybe sell it for some kind of citrus value but very low value all right they are trying to sell it to high value um the tropicana right if you've ever drank tropicana orange juice the factory for it is right there in lake wales near all these groves so they are there's always just like orange carts on uh there's always like big semi trucks with orange carts behind them bringing them to the tropicana orange juice factory all right and that's where they make almost all the Tropicana orange juice in the world is at this one factory, right? They have a, I think they have a couple more, but almost all of it's made at this one place. And that could have got hit too, right? There's so much industry. There's so much farming. There's tons of cattle. There's so much stuff in this area. Florida is very industrialized and built up, but it also is very rural in a lot of places. It has a ton of cattle and citrus and farming all over the place all right so let me know are you in florida what's going on guys millions of people it's like two or three million people without power all right this is devastating hundreds of people potentially have lost their lives from flooding and from emergency uh not getting emergency services okay because they can't go out when times are like this all right they just can't do it so and that was coming from a local sheriff, right? The sheriff in the Fort Myers area. That's what he was saying. So let's pray for, for, for Florida. Let's hope our supply chain isn't even more devastated. All right. We see even more shortages because this could affect our health too. This could affect like vitamin C availability. You know what I mean? Orange juice is good for you. It's good for you when, you, when you're sick. It could affect things like that as well. So, and it's just another thing. It's just how many things do we have to have? I, I've said this before, incrementalism. Even if they just take out 0.1% of the food supply for every incident, all right? 0.1% is taken out. If you do that hundreds of times, it adds up very quickly, all right? Very quickly. And it sure seems like it, all right? The the consistency the volume of things has been so much more all right there's been stories of things we've never even heard of like these warehouse fires we've never even heard of things like this before years ago it maybe happened like once a year and it was like a blip and now it's so consistent that it's a it's like a consistent news story theme that we cover now you know what i mean because it just happens so much why are all these things happening? And I know this was a hurricane. I know this was a natural disaster, but it's just another hit, all right, guys? And it's another reason why we need to stay prepared. We need to get our food. We need to get our seeds. Always have your seeds on lock, guys, always, because that's the key. You need to have food to get you through whatever, six months, a year, however long food you can afford to get. But... In that time, while you're eating, you're, while you're dwindling your supplies down, you need to be trying to grow as much food as possible. So when that food runs out, you have food to eat, all right? So get your skills up. Get your seeds up. Do all these things now and stay prepared, guys. Stay on your feet. Stay alert and pray for Florida. Thank you, guys. You have a blessed day.